spent the last 25 years building a business together. Now we're building the ultimate driving collection. All while having fun with family and maybe kicking a bush or two along the way. Oh, hi. Oh my God, I forgot that was here. It looks so good. I totally forgot it was here. Well, today you guys are gonna get to see a little more in depth of the 765. We did, I think we did a lot on Jason's, right? But not much on this. Almost nothing. Right, almost nothing on this. So we're gonna take you through some of the options on it, some of the really cool, unique features. I mean, probably one of my favorite spec cars that, that I've ever done. So we're gonna get out, we'll, we'll get rollers of the car. The carbon on a day like today is gonna be incredible. And tell you why you should care about the 765 LT Spider. Are we recording? Good, because I got my cheat sheet. Oh my God, so much MSO bespoke options. <laughs> Look, it's just all MSO bespoke. Okay, that actually is wild. I mean, that's wild. I don't, you know, it's been a long time since I've looked at it. It's like I just ordered an, an MSO bespoke car. I don't even know what to say about it. But you know, this is the reason why this should be your guys' favorite car in the collection. This is the first time that we've ever had bare carbon fiber uh, from McLaren. It's always been tinted up to this point. They have the best carbon fiber that I've ever seen bare. It is absolutely stunning. And not only that, but this is personally my favorite spec car out of any car we have. And I didn't say my favorite car, my favorite spec car. coolest parts of this is they used a fade so you can see on all the areas that it's blue it fading into the carbon fiber and fading into paint it's a $95,000 option it was almost 100 grand for that and then the full carbon body was $160,000 so you're talking 250 grand in just the body work so this is like the top of the line 765 I wanted to make this you know a truly special one of one it was about $750,000 total god there, there's probably a whole nother 765 of options in this thing uh, the other cool feature the wheels have blue flake in them you know it's got the blue flake in the black wheel to bring in the blue. Just visually stunning. I, I, I look at it and it's just like the carbon is perfect. Everything's perfect with it. And you know, it's a gray carbon, not black. So you can really see the weave really nice. We keep coming back. Jason and I both keep coming back to the 765 and why it's one of the top five cars in our collection. It does everything so well. Maybe south of $2 million. This is the best car on the market in our opinion. Obviously my favorite will always be the P1. This thing is very spacious. It's a convertible. It drives nice. Um, it just does every single thing well. I can't even, I don't even know what bad about it there's nothing bad about this thing come here come here look at this shout out to esoteric dan every time i see one of these i just give i give like a mental high five to dan and todd you know there was a big rock chip that's it i think the it's rock a, this is in the ppf no right yeah yeah totally ppf but i mean this car would be absolutely chipped and you can't just paint over carbon like it's a big problem the exterior probably like i said my favorite spec the interior is also my favorite spec i mean what are the odds the outside and inside they get my favorite spec i mean i did spec it so i mean look there's a lot of personalized bespoke touches in here some of you don't like bespoke i'm sorry some of you like why are you saying that custom i think the u.s is more custom you get it it sounds pretentious it does that's what it, says it does but it's like that's what we deal with with mclaren all the time like they say bespoke so it like naturally comes into our vocabulary it's just, it's our american right this blue i wanted it to be real loud on the inside when the with the top down to more match the blue on the exterior so a very bright blue on the seats we have the uh, start button which is 100% unique we have it actually in the saber which is a triple f logo start button i think they just had an extra one i think they made two and i asked for that they're like well we have an extra one from the saber we'll just throw it in there for you and pedals you know i even forgot about the pedals look how cool the pedals are there's so many more bits and how do we miss the cute speedy kiwi look at that little guy and he keep, you know what? You got it in the back too. Oh, I forgot about that too in the back. And the triple F in the headrest. I mean, if you get me down to one car that I'm using every day, it's probably the 765. That says a lot about this car.
Just getting into the 765, a couple things that I do automatically. Automatically. Automatic. First of all, automatically, I take it out of automatic. So that means getting into active. There's a little manual thing that comes on automatically. This little guy right here, hate this. Hate that button. Always off. I'll always have this off where it deactivates the motor when you're stopped. Annoying it. Every time you turn it on, you gotta do it. And then obviously the arrow button. This looks cooler with the wing up a little bit. Oh, way better. So handling and powertrain, both on track, which automatically puts down the, the instrument cluster, which I don't particularly like. Yeah. If I was on a track racing, yeah. I might I might like it. You know what, it's a cool party trick though. And the first thing in here, a very bright blue. Love it. I love the bright blue. I love a good crazy interior. McLarens let you, they let you have a little bit of fun right. without you, killing right. you. Right, you, you know, it almost makes you feel more talented than what you are. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, it gives you a little bit, oh, I saved that. Yeah, just like you saved the Senna. I, I was just going to say, I will say, <laughs> a little callback here, I, I did save the Senna. <laughs> I had everything off on it. You saved it and it was also your fault. Right. <laughs> oh, for sure. Dude, I thought for sure I was in the wall. Oh! It was 30. It was like in the 20s. Every decision should have been completely yeah. different of everything I chose that day. Stupid. That was one of the first times that we were out of the track doing something. So I was like super excited. So why are you taking something like this over? Okay, you have a pista. Why, why are you picking this to go drive over a pista? The obvious answer is I like it better. But you know, yeah. just trying to trying to like dissect myself here. Yeah. Why do I like it better? I think it has a better interior. Okay. Personally. And they're both twin turbo V8s. Right. right? Now the Ferrari sounds better. You think the pizza sounds better than this? I, I think that's hard for me. I think this sounds better personally. You think it sounds better? Yeah, I do. Are, are you calling the F430 sounding better? Oh yeah, well the F430 sounds better both of Right. <laughs> Look, even the exterior design of the 765, it takes the cake over over the piece stuff. Yeah, hey, I agree. Like it just does. Yeah. Like it is much more visually pleasing. Mm -hmm. It looks more aggressive. It just looks more special to me. Yeah. So I mean that's obviously a big reason. I like yeah. to look a lot better. I spec this car myself. Right, right, right. Which is obviously a big I mean I get it, but like you see you see that spec Ferrari a lot. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like you're not gonna see another another spec 765 like this and then all the all the custom bits in I, I like the exterior interior better i think it drives better i think it rides nicer okay when you say it drives better what what, what dynamics about the driving do you handling i i like the handling better in the, here there's something about the mclaren handling and i don't know how to explain it right I just don't have enough experience in the cars to like know how to explain it it just feels better the p1 feels that way the 675 still feels that way right dude the speed tail i drove it out to the track felt amazing around the turn Oh right, yeah. Like and that's you would, and, and you, you wouldn't think that either. Yeah. Because you know that's more of like a straight line, you know, hypercar GT. Yeah. The Ferraris feel a little bit more loose to me. I agree. The one area that I like the Pista better than this, okay. in, though. You guys got to tell me too if this is strange. If you guys think about this when you're in a car, in a sports car, anything. When I look out my side mirror, that part of the car is like cool. <laughs> in the in the piece just a big intake yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like i i enjoy looking out the side mirror you see like the the hips it is a really cool thing for me i love that i will get it specifically position both of them to see that more i like the feel and the look of everything inside here yeah. all this carbon and it's just so unique this 765 honestly I, i'm not sure what i would pick if you gave me a, a super basic 765 yeah you've always talked about that the, the spec heavily affects your choice of a car the spec makes i i think it's as important as the car i would rather have a different car that it maybe like a little less if the specs better i think we need to do a little unofficial jvj since we've already had the video come out on jason 765 yeah and this is the video on this 765 and we need to hear from you guys which one do you like better right who, who did it better yeah, yeah, yeah. jordan or jason I, i'm voting jordan i don't know I don't know about you. What, what is, day. What's well, your vote? Interior, I like a loud interior. This is right. this is my favorite hands down. I like that though. It depends on the day for you. And and exterior depends on the day. I think I would generally pick this more, but there's something about that fade on his yeah, car though. So good. That's what that's really in blue. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Good. Absolutely gorgeous. time of the piece though do you get the rawness that you get here we drove right. the 750 recently that right. felt way more like a street car whereas this feels a little more like the senna right now you can right. feel the end right but not but not at center level yeah not Senna's like super you know so is the p1 
Oh, yeah. The P1's rough. I mean, you got to be ready to drive some of these cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like like mentally ready yeah. to drive some of the cars because, like, you're going to get your ass handed to you. Oh, yeah. It's fun. I like that, too. But well, I just got to be ready for it. I don't know. The, there's something about the McLaren V8s. It's like they're their own unique sounds that have grown to like them a lot. You hear it more in the cabin and in the engine than you do the exhaust. Right. But, Oh, you, you can, can you can roll down the back window so you can really we well, move the top up you can really hear it nicely. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, but these things are so flipping quick. <laughs> it's just it's just crazy. There's not many cars that make your stomach, you know, that give you that not queasy, but that just like right. stomach gut feeling of like right. wow, this is fast. This car under right. load. Is one of those cars. It is so quick. It's a multi-million dollar quick. Yes. You know what I mean. So fast, and it gets you, man. And it, and it feels you, good. It's that Bugatti level get you right. stomach feel. Do you remember what the base price of this is? I oh, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> Let's see. I just Let me look it up. MSRP three hundred eighty-two thousand five hundred. And oh my gosh! Right, and this car was seven hundred and. Well, you thirty nine thousand. You joked about God, another seven sixty five. It is though, isn't it? What'd you say? Three what? Three eighty two. That's so close. That's like right there. That's so close. It's right there to another seven. This is two seven sixty five without the motor. <laughs> seven sixty four. Wow, it's close. It's so close. You're about thirty grand off. Well, you know what though? It's better than the options on the uh, on the speed tail. Million dollars of options on the speed tail. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you're regretting that platinum badge yet? Um. You know, there were definitely things we'd do different. Yeah. yeah. This car is very very special feeling but not as special as the people like i said if you only gave me one car one car based on not nostalgic it would be this so of any supercar if you had to drive one and that's all you get you get a daily you know and you get one supercar you're taking this over every, absolutely anything every time oh, i would take it over every supercar and I would take it over almost every single hypercar yeah. except the Bugattis. That's it. I would only take the Bugattis over this. And that says a lot about this car, dude. The that... interior on the next Bugatti. <sighs> it might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, life. you just mentioning it like takes me to like my happy place. They're taking analog to a completely new level. Right. Like, and it sucks because we can't really say, there's not a lot we right. can say beyond that. Well, well, look, there is like, you know, there are certain things that come out, right? And with with any product line, anything that like, you think that you've thought of everything, Yeah. right? Yeah, they, like yeah. you think that there's not another way to do something and somebody comes out and it's like, how how did that happen? Yeah. It, it, it is the perfect analog with, with modern technology. Yeah, yeah that I have ever seen ever. and I am I was blown away and I will say it is nothing like the Chiron interior nothing nothing right totally different totally different and then it has a feature that all we can say I have never seen this on a car oh but we won't say that on camera wait the any other thoughts you can think of sir I mean my thought is I love this car it's incredible. One of my absolute favorite cars that we own out of all of them. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, obviously I put double the money of, of a normal 765 in it. <laughs> There's a reason you did this. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sell this car. No. This, this car is staying. This is one, this is the top of the line uh, for the Super Series yeah. for the 720, 765. So this is the one that you go crazy specking and you keep it. And it's going to be a while before there, there's a replacement. That's going to be a good one. Right. W which is a good thing. Oh, gosh. Even at 45, 50 degrees out, it's quick, too. <laughs> Another 765. Wow, you weren't joking. No, I know, dude. It's wild, isn't it? So we're, we're noticing two buttons that we're trying to figure out what they are now. Is it doing anything? Look at that. Oh my gosh, you have storage back here. No, no, you don't. Because this is where the this is where the roof goes. Right, that's where the roof goes. So what's the point of it? If it's maybe if the if it's up. But like it's so thin. Because that's what that's where the roof folds. I've never even tried to open that. That's where the roof folds. Right. I mean th these have been on here since like the 12C. I've never noticed that that's there. You're telling me 12C has it? Yeah. It knows that I opened it. Okay. So it says confirm, confirm tunnel, empty, pull left stalk to continue. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's empty. Interesting. 
interesting. Oh, look, those little things came up. All the little nubs? Yeah, the little nubs, little carbon nubs. So it says roof open, I can't do it. So it's gotta just be for storage. You can you can use that you can the use up. that for storage the if tops the tops up. up. Right. Interesting. I don't think I ever really thought about it. Never. I didn't know that was possible. Right. I didn't either. 